you know. Uh, okay, so isn't this the, the 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 defining question of our age at the moment in the world is redefining the concept of value. What is it we want? And why? Because money is not going to do it. We know in what money is in itself. It does not make people happy. Things do not make people happy. If it did, I'd be very happy for, the, for them to have them. Great. But for the rest of us, what kind of world do we want to live? We touched on this in the room. One of, that's the reason I live in Ireland. When I drive around, you go past someone, they go, cork finger, we call it. It makes my day. They acknowledge that another human being is in front of them. My parents were, who's that? I have no idea. But they said hello to you. Yeah, they went, I acknowledge that you are another human being in front of me. That's what they did. Now, imagine what difference that makes to someone that's maybe old and lonely. They walk around, you go, oh, and I am here. In a modern city, you could walk around and no one wants to see you. We're all like ghosts, like the way the Chinese they see us, you know. I guess it's about intimacy, uh, respect. Uh, exactly, now respect and courtesy, yeah. they're things that are very... I talk to my kids a lot about this. Courtesy and respect. You can get nearly anything if you ask in the right way. I only have sons as well, so I can know what they're thinking about. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> if I ask in the right way. Yeah, but you realize 10 years too late, maybe. <laughs> Let's go on. <laughs> oh, I can't comment on that. <laughs> um, you know? We spoke about Sinatra. What's your favorite Sinatra song? Oh, quite a few. Yeah. But the, there are two songs that have been keeping me awake at night. I've got you under my skin, it's Cole Porter. Which is actually quite difficult to do. The only thing about these songs is I noticed that when I was talking to people about I'm going to do this, they were, oh, that's a great idea. They come along and they expect a certain thing. And when they're sat in front of me, we're in a small space, uh, maybe half the size of this room that we're in now. They don't want me to look at them, and I don't want to look at them. It's too personal. I know maybe half the people in this audience, you know. It's quite... It could be tense. They start, they think they know the song, but they don't. Everybody knows, oh, I've got you under my skin, I've got you deep in the heart of me. So, um, that's every single one of these songs, these songs. Now, you get the lyrics of those songs in front of you and look at, try to find what's the song actually saying. Sometimes it's got nothing to do with the arrangement that was created for it. That particular song, I have a personal opinion on it, we might have to record it to try and demonstrate it, but it won't be easy. Uh, so I think the... Um, it's already kind of doomed, you know, it's a bit creepy. She's under his skin, it's like he's contaminated by love. It's not completely healthy and you have to get some, I think, some part of that flavor into the way that you perform it. I'm treating this as school. That's why I do it. You know, these are some of the best songs I've ever written. I'm trying to be one of the best song singers on the planet. Let's give it a go. You know, it takes it takes nerve. Uh, you've got to be cheap. It's a bit hard. But I managed to get it with. It was a very good year. A month ago, I did it. You know, when you when you really give yourself to the song, you disappear because your ego is, it doesn't exist. The song finishes, and you know what happened. And then I could see the looks on their faces, and I knew I had just delivered that song as well as they were likely to hear it this year. And then Tanesh Coburn go and dial up the footage from when he was recording the studio. It's amazing little documentary uh, from 1965. Uh, it's on YouTube. Uh, amazing, amazing song. And he's he's extraordinary. He's like a cello. He's not intellectual, but he understands he understands emotions. He's tough, motherfucker. You wouldn't want to cross him, I'd say. You know, he's he's. Uh, mm. 
I never saw him. Not live, no. But I guess many cold water songs have this feeling of creepiness. Well, he's very he's clever. He's yeah, into, he's into, he's into it. Yeah. yeah. I haven't done that one. I haven't. Must have a look at him or, or Berlin. I haven't really gone in there too much. The brow stuff was is such a gift, which you think, oh, yeah, well, it's done, it's done. And then you look at it and you go, what the hell is this song about? Jackie, what is Jackie about? I finally worked it out. It's obvious, it's the loss of childhood. You're yearning to be a child again. But that's not what I got from all the versions I heard. You know, whether it was Howard Keel or whether it was Scott Walker, who I used to love, and now he's a hopeless singer. He was completely out of touch with the sentiment of nearly all of those songs. He was singing, you know, it just didn't work. He consumed by his own agenda. Singing. I think it's a problem with great songs that you have to heard too many times. Like yesterday, so don't appreciate it's possible. The, the creativity. But, like, but I, I think there's an element of trust and faith that you have to apply to it. And many singers, and I was very guilty of this myself in the past. There are certain things that you know you can do. You do that because you make a certain sound and you know that's going to affect you. You're strategizing. You're not being authentic. If you're really going to sing, you're not the important bit. You're the vehicle for the song. And if the song is, merits it, if it's that good, then I think you can always find something new in it. Uh, Amy Winehouse was touching on that quite a lot now before she died. She, the more I hear of her since, yeah, she really was very, very good. Very deep. Yeah. But I couldn't believe it because I, see, the way she, she talked was how she talks, she talks like a real like straight thicky, you know. That, 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 just bad news. She's a bad, dirty girl. You know, but uh, her suffering soul found a way to elevate the material she was singing, it transcended the form of Because pop music is just pop music. It's, <laughs> it's like uh, street, street poetry. But at its best, it's the best candy bar you ever ate. The one you remember for the rest of your life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good enough. Yeah. Did you play the pier? Did I? At the show with Maurice Eva. Uh, that song, yeah. With other events, yeah. And a couple of sets. Acoustic guitar version? Yeah. yeah. Both. We did uh, play guitar and then you join in. We're, we're now working up um, a show. It's a lot going to be a lot more of my songs. Uh, he's uh, particularly keen. The songs he said would he said could go really well on piano rather than just being. And I'm trying to dodge the uh, my American influence, if you like, for a while, because I love uh, rock and roll and American music. But um, I notice that people respond more when I don't do it. They like the more European influence. And, uh, okay, yeah, they're, they're happy to listen to something like Everything's Coming Up Roses, but the one that really makes their hearts sing is a ballad. It's something to do with it, my type of voice. And I'd be stupid to ignore that. You know? So uh, I'm really um, I'm trying to embrace. Uh, the, the expansion of the, of, of the musical repertoire in a way that Sinatra might have done. And any of those songs that still fit later, I can't do them. It would be really interesting. It's also audacious, cheeky, you know, kind of brave in its own way. Who would do it? <laughs> I have nothing to lose. I've already lost my hair. You know, uh, <laughs> Korea. Who thinks about Korea? Yeah. You know, all change. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, I saw an interview with you on, on your YouTube channel for RTV. Mm. Uh, there's a kind of home story. Um, and you said oh, yeah, yeah, there are two songs, and I think Sweet as My and Wonderful Life were written in five minutes. But five minutes each, yeah. yeah but I. So in two weeks, I can't say that, but I prefer Paradise. Oh, do on, yeah. also five minutes or? Uh, well, no, I co-wrote that with with Dave Dix. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, he had the, yeah, a lot of the music, this music, this, uh, but it was just instrumental. And he was just playing, you know, thinking nothing. And I, to this, you know. and I wrote a lyric, and uh, maybe not the best lyric I ever wrote. But, uh, this is a good one, I think. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. I like the chorus especially, so it builds up for the chorus mm. and then the voice is like a dialogue. Yeah, so yeah exactly, right. you know, uh, it's a good period when the creamy whales were involved, and, uh, great girls, yeah, very funny, real Liverpool street girls. <laughs>